Welcome to Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium and a wild card weekend matchup against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is the Atlanta Falcons franchise and I'm your host Husker Eurocap. Well, what a development we've had over the last week. With the return of Matt Ryan, the Falcons routed the Saints in the regular season finale and as strange as it may sound, Atlanta took the NFC South crown. Along with that, not only are the Falcons and the Bucks in the playoffs, but the Panthers made it in as the number seven seed and will have to travel to Green Bay for their wild card game. That's what has led us to Atlanta playing host to their division rivals to the South, the Buccaneers. Now, these teams split their meetings in the regular season, but can the Buccaneers win in Atlanta this time around? The Falcons are soaring after taking it to the Saints, but I'm sure that the GOAT has a solid game plan to counter the major losses that Atlanta has suffered due to injury. Are the Falcons ready for this one? Let's find out as the Buccaneers hope to lay siege to the Falcons here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Braxton Berrios is back deep as Ryan Suckup gets us underway here in Atlanta. Goes into the end zone. Berrios brings it out to the 20, and that's as far as he gets. Atlanta starts out in the I formation. The play action pass coming up and downfield goes the pass and out of bounds. So second and 10. The handoff goes to Matt Breida and he's up past the 25 yard line. A five yard gain on the play. So that brings up third and five. The pass is complete to Geronimo Allison out past the 30 yard line. And that brings up a first down. A nice hole. Breed is up the middle. Does he get the first down? Yes, they're going to give it to him. Reaching out, he gets it past the first down marker out at the 44. Second and 10. Ryan throws complete to Hurst. And it's another first down inside Buccaneer territory at the 44. Brita takes the handoff and is up the left-hand hash marks. Tackled inside the 40 by Jason Pierre-Paul. That brings up second and two. The ball given to Bryce Love, and he has the first down and more out of bounds at the 25. Out of the eye again. The handoff goes to Brita. There's a flag on the play. And this is going to be a face mask against the Buccaneers. Anthony Nelson, the guilty party, and that gives him a first down at the 10. Ryan back to pass, and he does not get away from one Shaquille Barrett. That puts the ball all the way back at the 19. Third down and goal, and Ridley catches it, but well short of the goal line. It's fourth and 10. Out comes Young Way Koo. The boot from 27 yards out is up and through. And the Falcons are the first ones on the board. Now the Buccaneers from their own 24. The pass complete over the middle. Giovanni Bernard making the catch. That brings up a second and three. Over the middle, complete again. Chris Godwin makes the grab for first down. Third and 10. And Brady throws, gets just past the 41 yard line does Leonard Fournette, but he cannot make the first down. An excellent kick by the Buccaneers. And Atlanta starts out at the eight. 
The pass out of the backfield to Breed is complete and he has the first down out at the 19. A quick pass over in the middle, complete for another first down to Calvin Ridley. Second and seven now. And caught in the backfield is Bryce Love, taken down by Ndamukong Sue. Now on third and 11 out of the shotgun. Ryan throws over the middle, and it's knocked away by Jordan Whitehead, and it is Buccaneers ball again. From the 23, look out, Brady goes down. Foye Aluakun takes him down for a six yard loss, and he was completely untouched on that play and made his way very, very quickly all the way home. Now from the 16, Brady completes this to Tyler Johnson out at the 25. Now it's third and eight. Brady back to pass and goes down again, this time in the arms of Dante Fowler. The pressure being created by the Falcons' defense is tremendous. After a holding penalty, Breida is caught in the backfield. Another tackle for loss by Jason Pierre-Paul. Now Ryan standing at his own 25 out of the shotgun. The handoff goes to Breida. He's out past the 35. That brings us to the end of the first quarter with your score three to nothing, Falcons. The Falcons need to get it to the 45 for a first down. Ryan back to pass and it's complete. Gage catches it for the first down inside Buccaneer territory at the 49. Another pass complete to Gage. This time at the 45 yard line of the Buccaneers. So third and six. Backpedaling, Ryan is sacked. Barrett with his second sack of the evening. So the Buccaneers get the ball back at the 20 yard line. Brady throws complete to Gronk and he gets it out to the 22. Third and Eight. Brady back to pass, throws complete, and he draws a flag. Most likely that's going to be a face mask against Richie Grant, reaching out and grabbing a fist full of grill. That brings up first and 10 from the 45 of the Falcons, and Fournette is caught in the backfield. Fabian Moreau, the first to get to him. So that brings up second and 13. Brady passes, complete to Gronkowski at the 40 yard line. That brings up third and five. The pass goes out to Johnson, first down and more inside the 30 yard line. Now third and eight. Brady passes complete, and it's another first down inside the 15. Second and seven now. Johnson takes it on the jet sweep to the left inside the 10 and can't get any further than the seven. Third and five. Pass complete to Godwin. He had to come back for it and doesn't get it to the first down marker. So fourth and five, and on comes Ryan Suckup. From 24, it bounces off the right, upright, and back into the end zone. No good, and the Falcons take over at the 20. The pass is complete over the middle to Allison. He's out to the 29. They're going to mark him at the 28, so it's second and two. Ryan 
throws to Allison, and he catches it on the sideline for a first down. From the 34, Ryan back to pass, throws complete. Gage with another first down out at the 45. Now on second and 10. Ryan over the middle, throws to Allison, first down inside Buccaneer territory at the 41, and that brings us to the two-minute warning here in Atlanta. Now on first and 10, two minutes left in the first half, completes the pass to Brita, and he takes it inside the 35. Second and three. Back to pass again. It's a completion to Breida. He is down to the 25. Make that the 26. So on second and seven. The pass to Allison is inside the 10 yard line. Finally gang tackled at the six. It's on first and goal. Out of the shotgun, Ryan passes into the end zone. Touchdown, Russell Gage. Carlton Davis was all over him on that slant pattern, but he just didn't have the wingspan to make that grab as the ball was going into the arms of Gage. After a quick Tampa Bay three and out, Back to pass, and a completion to Brita. A six-yard gain over the middle. So that's second and four, and what a moon pass, and dropped by Russell Gage. So it's back to the 42-yard line. The pass downfield goes to Ridley. He's in the open. 10-5, touchdown, Atlanta. Calvin Ridley with a 58-yard touchdown. And that one was made possible by Ryan. Look at this pass. A dart to Ridley on the run. All he had to do was catch it and keep on running, and it was touchdown all the way. That takes us into halftime, and your score, 17 to nothing. Now with a halftime report, let's go to Eurocat Baby. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Report. We'll get you back to the game in a moment. This wild card weekend is definitely bringing some excellent matchups. But in a couple of games that have already happened earlier today, in the AFC, this number two seeded team, the Tennessee Titans, have already gone down in defeat to the Denver Broncos. Ryan Tannehill went out early in the game with what's been diagnosed as a ruptured disc. That left backup Logan Woodside with the daunting task of taking the Titans the rest of the way in that battle. Regardless of a fourth quarter comeback, the Broncos held on for the win. Next up for them will be traveling to Las Vegas to play their bitter AFC rival, the number one seeded Raiders in the division weekend round. Here in the NFC, it was an East Conference battle between the Cowboys and Eagles. Despite the Eagles being a big favorite in this game, both Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott had outstanding days to propel the Cowboys past the Eagles 38-17 for a spot in the divisional round matchups. Here in Atlanta, the Falcons have pulled out to a strong 17-0 lead at halftime. Remember though, the Tampa Bay has Tom Brady calling the signals, and as the Falcons know all too well, a 17-point lead is not enough to count any team he's leading out. Can Atlanta make a stand here in the second half and move on to division round play? Stay tuned to find out, because we'll be right back. Welcome back to Atlanta, everyone. The Falcons with a couple of quick strikes with less than a minute to go in the first half, took a 17-0 lead into the locker room. That means that Mr. Brady 
We'll have to come up with something big in order to move on to the next playoff round. Atlanta, however, has the monumental task of stopping the GOAT from doing just that. Can they do it? Let's find out. Tampa Bay starts at their own 25. Brady alone in the backfield, throws complete to the 29. They gave Johnson the 30, so it's third and five. A play action pass. Brady going deep and it's incomplete, knocked away by A.J. Terrell. So that gives the ball back to the Falcons, starting from their 40. A completion to Hurst over the middle, gets to the 48. And the 47, third and three. Ryan throws complete to Allison, has the first down. Now from the Tampa Bay 42, out of the shotgun, the give is to Breida. He's caught in the backfield, Mr. Barrett once again. So on third and 13, back to pass, Ryan completes this one to Hurst. Tackled at the 40, and he's not going to make the first down. So Tampa Bay starting from their 20. Fournette gets hit in the backfield and goes down for a seven-yard loss. Bruce Irvin the first one to get there. So from the 13, the pass over the middle is complete. Johnson with the reception. Third and eight now. The throw. To Bernard, out of the backfield, tackled by Williams and not making it to the first down. Brings up fourth and four and a kick. Ryan under center. Goes back to pass, completes it over the middle to Ridley and a first down out to the 46. Six minutes left in the third quarter and a completion to Hurst. Another first down for the Falcons and they are on the move. Now at the Buccaneer 36. Ryan throwing, Allison catching for a nine yard pickup. Second and one at the 26. The back to pass is Ryan and he goes down. Barrett and Davis there for the tackle. Brings up third and 11 now. Pass long and is incomplete. Jamel Dean on the coverage and that brings out Young Way Koo for a 54 yard field goal and it's up and good. That increases the lead to 20 after a couple of three and outs. Brady throws over the middle, complete to Gronkowski. A seven yard pickup and second and three upcoming. Handoff notes a play action pass and it's complete to a wide open Chris Godwin for his third reception of the evening. And that's the end of quarter number three. Second and nine. From just inside Falcon territory. Completion to Bernard. He loses the football. Sean Williams picks it up and he is going to go the distance. Chris Godwin was chasing him, but he just didn't have the speed to catch up to him. And it is a score for the Falcons. Foye Luikin needs some props as well because he tore that ball out of there, leading to that fumble. And now it's 27 to nothing in favor of the Falcons. Brady throws complete to Gronkowski. And he gets it out to the 30-yard line. Third and five now. 
Brady back to pass, throws, and it's intercepted. A.J. Terrell on the interception. Is he going to go the distance? And nobody can catch him. And it's all the way back for a 53-yard pick six. This game is officially a rout. Completely out of control. And I haven't seen the Buccaneers have a game like this. And that's, that's a completion to Mike Evans inside the 10-yard line. Brady hit him on the run. And it was only because Deron Harmon had a good angle. That wasn't a touchdown. Back to pass all day to throw it and into the end zone. Touchdown, Brashad Perriman. So the Falcons don't get a shutout here. A late touchdown in the fourth quarter by the Buccaneers. And it is now going to be 34-7. to Still a game that's <laughs> kind of out of control. But, hey, at least the Buccaneers got on the board here in the fourth quarter. Breida now with the carry over the right side and out past the 30-yard line to almost the 34. A third and two. Gage stops in his tracks and heads upfield, and it's a first down out to the 43. Now Bryce Love with a carry to the 49. And that makes it third and one. Ryan back to pass, and who gets to him but Mr. Barrett again. Three sacks on the evening. That one leading to a punt. Now from the 18, here comes the pressure, and down goes Brady. The second sack of the evening for Dante Fowler. Most likely they'll be marking Brady at the seven, and that would make it an 11-yard loss. And they are marking him at the eight, so a 10-yard loss, third and 21. Brady throws, completes it to Godwin, but he's three yards short of the first down, and a punt is upcoming. The game winding down, just over five minutes left. The handoff goes to Breeder around the right side and out of bounds. They give him the first down at the 48. And now second and seven. Breeder takes it to the 45-yard line. Third and three inside Buccaneer territory. Ryan connects. With Rita has a big gain inside the 30-yard line and a first down for the Falcons. Now from the 27 of the shotgun, the give is to Love, and he cannot make it out of the backfield. A three-yard loss takes us to the two-minute warning and a 34-7 lead for the Falcons. From just inside the 30-yard line. Brita with another run. Down to about the 25. And down is Barrett. And being escorted to the locker room. Not a good thing to happen with just two minutes left in the game. Young Wei Ku on for 42-yard field goal. And it's up and good. That extends the lead to 37-7. Brady and the Buccaneers showing a lot of heart in this one. The throw downfield complete. It's Godwin making the first down out past the 45 for his fifth reception of the evening. Back to pass again. And... Doesn't get the ball off in time. Sacked by Dante Fowler. Second and 21. 
Brady throws short. Evans doesn't get out of bounds and they have to call a timeout. So it's third and 19. Brady throws and it's knocked away by A.J. Terrell. The Falcons in the victory formation and this one is over. Coach Arians visibly upset. I would think so after being beaten 37 to seven in a wild card game. The Falcons were all over this one doing exactly from a defensive standpoint what they wanted to accomplish and that was to stop the rushing game of the Bucks. The best you can do is slow down Tom Brady, but the running game is a completely different animal. So well did Atlanta defend the run that Tampa Bay only tried running the ball seven times in the entire game. A negative seven yards rushing meant that Brady had to put the ball in the air early and often to try to make something happen. Since the lion's share of the time of possession went to the Falcons, I have to say that he did fairly well with the time he did have. Of course, a 64-yard strike to Mike Evans didn't hurt his cause. But waiting until the final quarter to make that happen was a great testament to how well the Atlanta D was playing tonight. Matt Ryan had a long strike of his own, connecting with Calvin Ridley for a 58-yard touchdown catch and run. But like I said, it was the Falcons' defense that won the gold medal here tonight. Both a fumble recovery and interception taken back for touchdowns really solidified a win for Atlanta. Tampa Bay just couldn't come back with a 34 to nothing deficit. Brady had no choice but to give up on the run game, and Atlanta knew it. When you can play the majority of the second half in a pass defense because that's all your opponent can try, you've been successful in making the other team a very one-dimensional offense. The only problem that Atlanta has to overcome now is a divisional round matchup with the Dallas Cowboys. As well as the defense played today in stopping the run, I just don't feel that Fournette and Bernard can stack up to Ezekiel Elliott. I may be proved wrong, and, uh, well, I hope that I am, but Zeke is just that good. But if he can be stopped, it'll be up to Dak Prescott to throw the Cowboys to a win. A solid advantage will be that the Falcons get to play at home again next week. Who would have thought that after a 1-5 start to the season, Atlanta would have back-to-back -back home field advantage games in the playoffs? Goes to show you that it ain't over until it's over. That's going to do it for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. The Falcons gave the Buccaneers a sound thrashing tonight. The offense really stepped up in this game and dominated the Tampa Bay defense. That along with the defensive play that we've come to appreciate from the Falcons means that they get to move on to the division round but can they play just as well against Dak and Zeke? Remember that the Cowboys' defensive front is every bit as good as the Tampa Bay front, so Atlanta may have a little trouble with the rushing game. Can the Falcons overcome that barrier? Join us to find out when the Falcons play host to the Cowboys. Until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good evening, everyone. <laughs>